What's good, YouTube? Dongy the Entrepreneur, representing Can't Stop BNT. Today is day eight. Let me tell you, damn, I feel good. I probably don't look good, but I feel good. And that's what you should be aiming towards. Right now, for the morning, uh, this or earlier today, remember I'm intermittent fasting, so about around two, three o'clock, I had my breakfast, which was, I posted on Instagram. I had three eggs, two bacons, and some cheese. About 28 grams of cheese, which is like an ounce. An ounce of shredded cheese. Today, or right now, I'm gonna make some burger patties, and usually it's supposed to be lettuce wrapped burgers, but I don't have lettuce. I have cabbage. And how I'm gonna make this work is I'm gonna steam the cabbage instead of boiling it in water, because I think the steam won't make it as uh, soft and won't be able to make me create a bun, uh, like how lettuce does. Now what my ingredients are gonna be is 2080 ground beef, 80% lean, 20% fat. I'm gonna use this whole thing because I'm cooking for four. Uh, I'm also gonna use eggs because I don't know where I got it from, but I experienced where I just try to use the burger or the ground beef and try to create burger patties, but it falls apart when I try to cook it. But then I, I seen somewhere that you use eggs to, and it keeps it together. Then I'm also seasoning it with some Himalayan salt, pepper, garlic and onion powder. Number one, wash the hands. Two eggs, three eggs, fourth egg. I don't really know how to cook, I'm just making this up from watching a lot of different YouTube videos. And I'm just gonna mash this together with the egg. Time to cut this. Doesn't really matter how you cut it as long as they're big pieces. Kind of breaking it up. Like so. And I'm gonna put it all in here. So I gotta put in a bigger one. And it fits the same. <sighs> well, I'm just gonna cut the rest and put it in. Big pot. Let's put water in here and let it boil. Put this on top and it should steam it. Got to fill this up with water. Probably gonna put it like halfway. Put the stove on high and let it steam away. 
Also gotta wash the cabbage. Don't forget to do that. Cause I didn't forget. Make sure you wash it clean. Psych. Wash it clean. Just kidding. This is what we have. Oh, nice. It's just perfect. Now it's time to make the burgers. So I got the lettuce or the got the cabbage steaming. Now it's time to form the burgers. And I like to make some thick ones. Just create a ball. Flatten it out a little bit. Oh, bam. One nice size one. Oh yeah, and I started counting or uh, putting down my food on my fitness plan or my fitness pal. So I'm gonna weigh all this as soon as it's done cooking. Update on my on uh, my food truck. It's been snowing really hard, so I haven't been able to do a video yet for my food truck or update you guys, but I will. And then my DJ system as well. I'm working on getting some gigs, but I'll be making a video on those. But for now, this is what I'm cooking. And I'll show you the what it looks like when it's cooked. Time to check it. Ooh. Uh, it's a bit hot. Take maybe about five more minutes. Five more minutes it'll be ready. And my burgers. Oh, it smells good. Look how big it is. I like my burgers all the way cooked. And I think you're supposed to have it that way anyways. But my wife, she likes it blotchy red. Where it's literally like blood. That's disgusting. But yeah. Just check in. This one's almost done. The way I like it. I think it's done. So I put the middle and press down, no red. It's all done. Damn, look how big though it is. Reminds me of that movie, Good Burger. Welcome to the Good Burger, home of Good Burger. Can I take your order? So now I've started, today I started tracking my food. I got my, uh, my uh, macros from um, Keto. From a guy who lost hell of weight. And he kind of told me this, uh, this is because I told him my height and how old I am. I think that's what it is. And the macros he gave me for keto is 140 protein, 86 fat, and 23 carbs. So I'm gonna weigh out my burger patty. And how I'm gonna weigh it out is by this food scale.
I cooked this for two. So it's only two of us eating, but since this one's bigger and I made it, I get to take the biggest one. Bruh. And that weighs out to be 269 grams. Yeah, 269.4 grams. And now I just calculated everything I just had. So that's 46 grams of protein, 52 grams, 52.9 grams. And yeah, and that's all that. So I'm, like, so I'm grabbing the cabbage. Pick this one, this one. Looking for the bigger pieces to add, like this one. Okay, got my cabbage. So it's pretty hot. But, damn. That there, that there, and this on top. Now I'm going to wait for it to cool down a little bit because it's too hot to pick up and eat with my hand. Or you can just use a fork and a knife to eat it together. But this is my cabbage burger. And this is what I'm going to have before I go work out. Let's try to find guns. Awesome. Oh. What the fuck? You see? I like to add a little flavor. I just like to keep it simple. A lot of people don't. I'd rather have this in the burger with other sauces like ketchup or something, but ketchup has sugar, so I can't eat that. This has zero sugar, so I could eat this mustard. Now it's time to wrap it up. So eating healthy is not that bad. It actually tastes really good. You just gotta customize your food to your liking. Like this. So stay tuned, I'll show you my last meal after I come, or after I work out. And if uh, my wife's not using her phone, maybe she'll let me record some of the workouts I do. Said I drink one of these with every meal I have. I don't crave no sugars, no, no uh, dessert or anything like that. This is my dessert or soda. This tastes better than a lot of sodas out there. Trust me. Clear. Walmart. Walmart should pay me for I'm probably making sales of these, but it's okay. Just got back from the gym. Sorry I didn't get to uh, record anything because our phone was low. I didn't have no charge or anything, but it's always going to be next time. Well, right now, I'm about to have my last meal. I just got back uh, for a workout. I did, uh, well, we did lower body. We did legs and shoulders. And I'm um, really sore from working out the other days but at the same time it feels good For those of you that are thinking about starting to go to the gym all it takes is just one foot in the door then you're ready to go um, I didn't think I would actually get in the gym but luckily my wife she wanted to go to the gym so that made me want to go to the gym for the workouts uh, I didn't walk or anything so instead for cardio, we did uh, circuits just to help us uh, sweat as much as we can and make it feel like cardio, is non-stop movements. My last meal right now, uh, if you remember um, from my uh, uh, second meal, I had burger patty. Well, I just made the rest and crushed it all up and I'm just gonna eat that with uh, cabbage. And that'll be my last meal. 
for my uh, keto macros. Uh, to be honest, I'm like 10 grams or whatever it is over on fats. But my protein, I'm on point, and my carbs is a little low. And uh, from what I, well, from what people told me that that's still pretty good. Just as long as you're close hitting your numbers. But if you can hit your numbers, that's perfect. Um, but don't make it too complicated. Uh, this is day eight in the books. It's over. I feel good, and uh, can't wait till tomorrow to start day nine and get nine done out of the way. And then Saturday, I'm gonna weigh myself and I'll actually record it um, to see what my new way will be, whether I gained weight or I lost weight. Um, but whatever it is, I need to uh, be happy with the results. So everyone out there that's uh, trying to lose weight, keep up the good work, don't give up. I'm Tony, the entrepreneur. Represent Can't Stop B&T.